so welcome to my orientation playground. This is the welcome page. Um, with the announcements at the top, I have three coming in at a time. I only have one announcement. So um, then um, a brief introduction of the course and me. Orientation is practical, valuable information to help you succeed in your studies at Heinz. Um, even if you're at the end of your journey, these topics should be important or valuable. All right, so where do I begin? Clicking on the syllabus, and I have the syllabus here for the orientation course and the course calendar. And then you can also go back to the home page and access the modules link, which it says click on the modules link to begin this course. So we have the general Heinz information, and then I have one, two, three, four modules that I've worked on on the original. So you have the welcome link that has all of the welcome activities. Um, then you have student services, financial aid, and improving classroom performance. Um, as you can see, there's still a bunch of stuff that I need to go through in this course, and it's not very organized. But I've worked on organizing the first four weeks. Um, my main goal was to make it look consistent, so all of the objectives look the exact same way. They have a purpose statement, the purpose of Welcome Week is, um, and then by the end of Welcome Week, students should be able to, and then it says relate to fellow students through the menu activity, locate important Heinz information, describe Heinz process that applies to align online students. Um, next, you have the getting to menu activity, the one that we actually did um, as our first assignment. I'm going to put that on there. Then um, we have an introduction to Welcome Week, lots of PDFs that they have to grab and read information. This is from the original course, a lot can be changed. This is that assignment that is now in every module that I need to go back and change. Um, Welcome Week discussion, after reading these certain things, um, they are supposed to choose one piece of information that they think would be useful and say what situation would be useful in. So I have an example of a quality discussion post here. So for example, I found the information in the proctor exam section to be very useful. I know I will use this when I schedule my two proctor exams each semester. I don't have to memorize how to schedule an exam, but I know right where to go to find the information. So instead of these three to five sentences, I gave an example there of what it should look like. Um, and then the welcome week quiz, that was part of the original information in the course. I'm not sure how that is yet. Objectives for student services, consistent look. They will always know that by the end of student services module, they should be able to do the following. Um, so we have a brief introduction to student services. As usual, um, this is a list of some of the things that will be going over. Um, we have that assignment that is the same in every one, unfortunately. Then we have a discussion about um, sexual misconduct. I wonder how I did this. Okay, so. Okay, there's summarizing the section. Um, all right, and then you have the student services quiz. And then we're on to the objectives for financial aid and so on. They all look very similar. That was my main goal, just to make everything look similar, make it uh, interesting to the eye or easy to find anyway. So this was some videos that they that I have to keep in here because the quiz at the end of this one shows answers from that. So I have to fix that assignment. All right, and then you have the financial aid quiz and student loan discussion based on videos provided, some responsible ways to manage your student loans, and the student loans quiz. I think that should be it. Oh, we have the fourth. Okay, so here's the fourth module, and you can see that it's the same general idea. This is a bunch of um, junk that was in the original course. Got to figure out a better way to present but for now, here it is. The information from that is in the quiz. 
So discussion of STEM tips.